Second day of solving a hacker rank challenge per day, uh, starting from the very basic, basic challenges and then working ourselves up to the more difficult ones. And uh, that means let's get to our next challenge, which is apple and orange. Solve challenge. Let's read what this one is about. Sam's house has an apple tree and an orange tree that yield an abundance of fruit. Using the information given below, determine the number of apples and oranges that land on Sam's house. Is that Sam's house? Uh, the red region denotes the house, where S is the start point and T is the end point. Okay. The apple tree is to the left of the house and the orange tree is to the right. Assume the trees are located on a single point where the apple tree is at point A and the orange tree is at point B. When a fruit falls from its tree, it lands on D units of distance from its tree uh, of origin along the X axis. A negative value of D means that the fruit fell D units to the tree's left and the positive value means it fell to the right. Okay. Uh, X minus plus and minus and plus from B or A. Given the value of D for M apples and N oranges, determine how many apples and oranges will fall on Sam's house, for example, in the inclusive range ST. All right, since we know the distance and we should know the point here and we should know the plus uh, for apple and the minus for orange, I guess. Uh, so for example, Sam's house is between S7 and T10. The apple tree is located at A4 and the orange, B, orange at B12. There are three apples and three oranges. Apples are thrown apples 2, 3, 4, which means we can ignore the minuses here. Uh, units distance from A and oranges 3, 2, and four, where we can ignore three units distance. Adding each apple distance to the position of the tree, they land at four, because we have, where is it? Here, four plus two, four plus three, and four minus four, six, seven, zero, oranges. Land at whatever, one apple, and two oranges land in the, in the exclusive range of seven to 10. So we print one and two. So that means one apple and two oranges. So we print one and two. We have that range, seven to 10. So basically we want to iterate through all apples and sum the position plus the fall distance. And while we do that, we can already say, is it a bigger equal seven or smaller equal 10 and then add right to the but here one sec what about the oranges because minus two means to the left right land at 12 plus minus two is 10. okay well that's fine all righty <clears throat> complete the count apples and oranges function in the editor um starting point t that's the diff okay Apple, oranges, why not O? Constraints, all of them is up to a million, I think five means like five zeros. And D, the distance can be between minus a million, minus a million and plus a million. And A is smaller than S, S is always smaller than T and T is always smaller than B, that makes sense. Sample input. 7, 11, 5, 15, that's interesting. Okay, let's do full screen. And say we have apple, right? Four apple tree. So apples, zero, oranges, zero. We start at zero. That's the count that want to have in the end to print. And then so for apple and apples, 
let's see integer we want to say um, landing is apple plus the is a plus apple and then if landing is bigger equal s and uh, or no wait and because it should be within smaller equal t apples plus one and we do the same for the oranges basically for an orange oranges let's see land things b plus orange right and then hmm Uh, whoops, orange plus one. I wonder if that's correct. So let's think about it for short. So we have the apple distance that's plus the whatever apple for, fell. And if it's here bigger equal s and smaller equal t, yes. And the same for orange. And then we want to say print apples print oranges and run processing error okay whoops what did i write oh, of course landing landing and landing run compilation errors apple in apples sequence uh, apples why it is a sequence what's the error oh one sec okay mm. a result oh result uh, let's do that a result and here o result and then here a result our result. Just a name collision. How does that look like now? That's great. Let's submit. Congratulations. Alrighty. So we solved this algorithm for today and uh, we can say let's close this view and next challenge which will be tomorrow number line jumps. Thank you for watching, um, leave a like if you like this kind of challenges every day, leave a comment if you have anything you want to um, provide as feedback and also hit subscribe if you don't want to miss out on the next challenge tomorrow. Bye!